In the last year, if you would put your money in the stock market into any of the big five banks, into companies like Tesla or others like it, or in the crypto market, you would have been up 50 to 100%. But somehow, when real estate prices go up 15 to 20%, everybody loses their mind. I wanna chat about that with you today. So the numbers are out for May and what they're telling us different from the other month is that it looks like our market has actually cooled down a little bit. Uh, as of right now, March was actually the highest month that we've seen. April numbers were a little bit lower and Mays were even a little bit lower than that. So that doesn't mean that our market has changed that much. It just means it's gone from complete insanity back to a pretty good regular seller's market. In Toronto real estate, uh, our prices double, meaning going up over 100% typically every 10 years or so. So it can happen in the stock market very quickly, but in the real estate market, it can take about 10 years. So if we just look at the numbers right now, your detached properties still trading at about 1.7, semis are at 1.3, townhouses at 950, and condos are just a shade over 700,000. Now, is this type of price growth that we're seeing so far in 2021 gonna last forever? No, because real estate has a funny way. What it does is it has four to five months where it completely accelerates very quick and then it cools off. And then it kind of just stays where it is, where it is, where it is, and then it jumps up again. It's got a weird way of doing that. So we've seen that happen so far this year. The first four months, we saw a huge jump up. And now if I had to predict, I think it's gonna be really good, but prices will somewhat stabilize for the next few months in the Toronto market. So even if you hear those numbers, you're kind of shaking your head and saying, I'll never be able to afford a property in Toronto. You don't start at that big dream house. You start somewhere smaller. And what I found with our clients is a lot of people starting with that 500, 600 square foot condo, they're getting in, they're getting in at a price range they can afford right now, and they're building appreciation and equity, which is helping them jump up when the time makes sense. So wherever you are on the mountain right now, whether you're right at the bottom or you're close to the top, what you have to keep in mind is that real estate is long term. If you can find anything else in life that you can buy, use for a period of time and then sell for more money, I'd love to know what it is. No matter how much money you make in your job, long term wealth, specifically in Canadian and Toronto real estate, starts with your housing situation. So get in, make smart decisions, and you're going to thank yourself in the future. Where did I put my sunglasses? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. You see the truth. Crypto. You would have. I got it out right before. <laughs>